What's going on guys? Thrash back here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video where today I'm going to go over the four new MSPs here in NHL 22 for the social showdown event. It was Nasher versus Pavel Barber and we got some pretty good cards including Linus Olmark, Elias Pedersen, Rick Nash, and Patrick Line A. Some insane cards available. I did make Line A. He looks disgusting. We're going to go through all of them. We'll also go through all of the new social showdown cards. There's a 90 Mantha. I'm covering him with my fat head. We'll go through all of them individually. I appreciate you guys checking out this video. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm actually not going to be around much. I will have a lot of content for you, but I'm getting married and I am on my honeymoon and all that fun stuff. So lots of videos for you, but I won't be around too much. If you guys are new, please consider subscribing to the channel and let's go ahead and take a look at your masters. Well, first of all, we have Tex Williamson. Uh, he is a six foot four goalie. Could be kind of fun to use. We got Tyler Ennis, a five foot nine forward here with protector and booming shot. Cool Caulfield. I know a lot of Habs fans will be happy, although he does still have a master. So like this card needs a lot of upgrades before he becomes better than his master card. Uh, we got Zach Parisi. I know Henrik will probably be happy about this card here. Not a bad one. Probably use him for his uh, all time devil's team. We got Anthony Mantha, who I could possibly use my all time wings team that I'm putting together. Looks pretty solid. Shane Goss's Bear, who has an unreal card every year. Always a good card and could be a lot of fun to use. Kirby Doc, six foot four, decent skating, good category everywhere, honestly. It's a, it's a pretty good looking card. Marty St. Louis at 92 overall. Habs fans rejoice. 95, 95 for Speed and Excel. Could be a lot of fun to use, man. Could be a lot of fun. And Dougie Hamilton, six six defenseman. Another card for Henrik, of course. And last but not least, we got Theo Fleury, five foot six. One of the fastest cards you're ever going to find could be really, really good. Uh, I don't know. I might want to try this card out. You never know. The nice thing about him is he has truculence, so that could really help him. That being said, let's get into your masters. First up, we've got Elias Pedersen. His base stats look insane. And then you turn on the abilities and synergies, and he just looks so gross. One of the best cards in the game. I, I, I think out of the four masters released, all four of them could be on your team the rest of the year. They are all very, very good. Uh, Pedersen with Spark, Workhorse, Wingman, or like the Lamp. Uh, Protector, Gladiator, Well-Rounded, and Fly the Zone, Distributor, and Thief. So you can have all three skating sins on him. 95, 97, that's six foot two. This is one of the best left-handed forwards in the game. It just so happens that there's so many left-handed forwards. Kuhn, thank you for the sub on YouTube. I appreciate you, buddy. Uh, next up, we got Linus Omark. He is smaller, but his skating is unreal. His shot, like, look, his entire card is just really, really good. The entire card is really good. Uh, the, the difference being with him and Pedersen is size. Regardless, another very good card. Someone who might not be on your top, you know, in your top six, but someone who could be on your team the rest of the year in your bottom six for sure. Now we get into the fun cards with Rick Nash. Six foot four. You knew Nash was going to come out with a Rick Nash. He's got Workhorse, uh, Wingman Protector, like the Lamp, uh, Bombarded, Fly the Zone, Gladiator, Distributor, Spark, and Booming Shot. Puck on a String, Big Rig, Unstoppable Force, No Contest, and Close Quarters. This card is gross. A six foot four Rick Nash, 95 Excel, 93 speed. I don't think you can ask for much more out of a card. This is going to be fun to use. Rick Nash, Nasher. Hey, he did a good job with it. What can I say? And Nasher's second choice is Patrick Line, who might be even better than Rick Nash, in my opinion. I think this card is disgusting, especially because he's right handed, and I was in serious need of a right handed card. Uh, Line, you can have Light the Lamp Protector, Gladiator, Spark. Booming Shot, Heart and Soul Magician, and uh, Applesauce, Well-Rounded, and Buzzing. So with his Speed Sins on, he gets 94 Excel, 93 Speed at 6'5", 205, 99 Shot, 99 Hands, pretty much 99 Checking. This card's gross. So between Line A, Nash, Omark, and Pedersen, I do think, personal opinion of course, that Patrick Line is the best card available. So if you guys are going to make one, make Patrick Line especially because right-handed cards are so hard to come by. This is going to be a card that's on my first line for a very long time. Rick Nash would come in in second place at 6'4". It's a little bit heavier. He's a little bit quicker with his sins and whatnot, but I, I do think that line A is going to edge him out just a little bit. Um, Rick Nash still looks absolutely disgusting and will be on your team for a very long time. Third, I would put Elias Pedersen at 6'2". With all his great skating sins, he looks unreal. And last but not least, Linus Allmark. But all four masters are absolutely awesome. Now, this is just a one-week event, and the Social Showdown event ends on next Friday. So we'll have a new event. I might be able to get a video for you. I, I'm not sure when we're leaving quite yet. Um, Thrash94Gammon with the follow. 
almost. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go through your objectives here. Got to win five games by at least seven goals, win 15 total games, uh, take 400 shots, score 125 goals, make 300 hits and five shutouts. If you do all that, you're going to get yourself a power-up collectible and five more event collectibles. There's also challenges you can do if you get all the challenges and objectives done. You will have enough collectibles to make a master and upgrade them to a 89 overall. For one week, that's not bad. And then if you really don't want that master, what I would do instead, if you don't want any of these masters for whatever reason, I would make three random masters instead. Trade in those collectibles for three masters and then trade those masters in next event. So that way you have nine collectibles to start off your, your master right away. On top of all of that, we have the starter pack with 50 items, including a power-up collectible and a guaranteed 83 or better. The MSP player pack, where you're guaranteed an 86 overall master items. And last but not least, the like and subscribe pack. Hey, I'm not telling you what to do. The pack is telling you what to do. Like and subscribe. All right. We also have the give a follow pack. If you guys want to follow me over on uh, Twitch or Twitter or Instagram, I'm going to go ahead and just plug myself here because we have the pack. We might as well do it. Now, before I go, I'm actually going to open up one of the like and subscribe packs. So like and subscribe, please. It really helps out. And uh, I, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. So let's go ahead and open up this pack. It's be the only pack of the video. I do have a huge pack opening for you tomorrow. So we'll go ahead and go through that. But this should be uh, this should be pretty good. We're guaranteed 481 or better. We've only gotten one so far. I just need one to hit. I just need one to hit. One big pull. Come on. Okay, we got Josh Norris. That's two. Come on. Give me that purple. Let me see that purple. Please. Please. Okay, we got Kevin Hayes. We got one more 81 or better. Guaranteed. EA, I'm getting married. I'm gone. Help me out with a huge pull. It's going to be the final card in the pack. EA, hook me up with a master. No, you're going to give me Alex Tuck instead. Well, guys, that is going to do it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and let me know down below what you think of your four new masters. I would go through the sets, but they're the exact same as every other event. You trade in six for this amount of collectibles. You trade in the collectibles for the master. It's the same thing every event, so there's not really a reason to go through them. There's no special sets or anything right now. If any do come out, of course, I will get to them. Hopefully, they come out before uh, I leave for my wedding. But regardless, guys, thank you for watching this video. Have a great day, and let me know down below who you think the best master is out of the four. For me, it's Lime A, but you guys let me know. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Stay frosty.